First we have oceanic to oceanic divergent boundaries. Oceanic to oceanic. When a divergent boundary occurs underneath the oceanic lithosphere, the rising convection current lifts below the lithosphere, making a mid-ocean ridge. Forces stretch the lithosphere and produce a deep fissure. When it opens, pressure is reduced onto the mantle below. It responds by melting and new magma flows into the fissure. An example of an oceanic divergent boundary would be on the mid-Atlantic ridge. Now we have continental-continental divergent boundaries. When a divergent boundary is beneath a continental plate, the pulling isn't strong enough to make a clean break through the plate. The plate is curved upwards from the convection current's lift, pulled thin by forces and broken into a rift-shaped structure. As the two plates pull apart, faults develop on both sides of the rift and the central blocks slide downwards. Earthquakes occur as, as a result of this breaking and movement. An example of a continental-continental boundary would be the East African Rift near Malawi. Emergent boundaries, continental and oceanic plates. When continental and oceanic plates collide, the oceanic plate, which is denser, is forced down to the mantle in the process called subduction. Subduction is a term that explains how, in a convergent boundary, one plate moves underneath another plate and is recycled into the mantle. While the oceanic plate descends, it goes into environments with higher temperatures. An example of this would be the Washington-Oregon coastline. Continental and continental. This is when there's a collision between two continents and the formation of mountains. And when they move toward each other under one plate, the seafloor is subducted. An example of this would be the Antilles Mountains. Transform fault boundaries. This is when two plates slide past each other horizontally without destroying the lithosphere. In a transformation boundary, it has no volcanoes. Most transformation faults are in ocean basins, but some go through continental lithosphere. Continental and An example of this would be the Alpine Fault in New Zealand. There's also hot spots. Volcanoes also occur in areas that are not near plate boundaries, they are in the interior of them. These are called hot spots. Hot spots result from plumes of hot mantle surging towards the surface. They also tend to be fixed in position with the plates moving over the top. As the rising plume of hot mantle moves upward, it begins to melt to produce magma. This magma then rises to the surface, producing a volcano. An example of a hot spot would be the state of Hawaii.